Wild Card 3 on Coast to Coast AM. Bert? Yes, yes, hi. Um, I, uh, have you heard anything about the Bay Area Filipina suicides? No. Um, you got my attention already. Well, basically, um, uh, satellite weapons, electromagnetic weapons, were used to drive women into performing sex acts uh, used by Justice Department officials, and uh, they were driven to suicide. There was an attempt to obstruct justice. The military tribunal was involved. Um, the matter, uh, the uh, Senate Judiciary has had secret hearings on the matter. Well, stop right uh, here. Stop. How, if yeah. they were secret, how do you know they happened? Well, uh, it happened to my wife. Um, the, she committed suicide? No, no, no. But she was uh, tortured into performing sex acts. It happened to some of her Filipina registered nurses. Um, the uh, When I reached out uh, to the uh, Senate Judiciary, the various intelligence agencies, the uh, CIA, NSA, uh, FBI were all involved in investigating the matter. Um, and basically the uh, investigation um, it came to a halt when it was determined that um, Robert Mueller was also involved in the scandal. The FBI um, director. Yes. Okay. Yes. And uh, now back up, for, back up yeah. for a second. I got to ask you a question. So sure. your wife essentially cheated on you against her will. Correct. Okay. And Correct. how did how was she manipulated into doing this? Where was she? What happened? Well, basically, the way that these weapons work is uh, uh, the the physics are magnetic. Uh, it basically um, uh, engages a satellite tracking device onto the human skull, and they're able to direct acoustics. The brain hears the acoustics. Um, they have different tools at their disposal. They can uh, cause painful headaches. Um, they can um, uh, uh, cause dysfunctional uh, cognitive ability. Um, one of your guests uh, spoke, Nick Begich, spoke about um, the effects of electromagnetic weapons. Right. Uh, basic, basically, it, um, it, it's, it's widely used. It's, it's used against some politicians in the legislative branch. Um, some of the side effects uh, include um, uh, brain tumors. You might see, you might see some... Some uh, folks. So Senator brain. Kennedy's brain tumor might have been caused by the same thing that caused your wife to cheat on you. Uh, correct. Uh, in fact, okay. um, the congressmen and the senators uh, that sit on the uh, both the House and Senate Judiciary have have um, received attacks by way of electromagnetic weapons. It's very common. It's it's been common for several years. Okay. Uh, I want to uh, I want to slow down a little bit. So again, how did your wife? How did she then they pinpointed your wife directly? They like directly. OK, why would they choose her? Um, I don't know. They, they were um, they were attacking several Filipinas. Uh, why Filipinas? Why, why I, Filipina nurses? I think um, I think for several reasons, I, I think they have limited family ties. OK, uh, why would Filipinas, that matter? Well, um, they're I, I really don't know why. I really I mean, don't know family why. Family ties. She's married to you. Heck. I mean, it's not like they're picking up runaways at bus stations. Well, basically, these women, they, you know, they come to the United States to support their family home. They have, you know, limited family ties here in the United States. I really don't know why, um, why they, uh, they pick the, you know, the, this type of demographic. Okay. But you confronted your wife about having cheated on you, and she told you that this was a, some sort of beam that came down that controlled her mind into doing it? No, no. She came home one day and uh, with tears coming out of her eyes, uh, told me that, uh, you know, an old man, very powerful, sees everything, had raped her. And uh, she, she, she tried to tell me what had happened and was turning her head. And um, she, she wouldn't, she didn't tell me what was happening to her because she thought that I just wouldn't believe her. Um, and after I, after I reported what had happened to the FBI, um, I, I went to the FBI's office in San Francisco six times. Why would um, they, you go they, to the FBI instead of the local police if she'd been raped by somebody? Well, I did, I did call the second in command um, uh, at the local police department uh, in Dublin. 
And uh, but I really didn't get any traction at the time. I I did not know that it was a federal agent that uh, raped my wife. And uh, when I reported it to the FBI, they put me through the same torture. They um, basically uh, uh, tortured my head um, the same way. It happened to uh, two of my vice presidents uh, at companies where I worked. Okay. Um, uh, well, yeah. I'm running out of time here, but that's and, and so this has been published. You said, had I heard about this? So this has been covered in the news somewhere. Um, it hasn't been covered in the news, but you can read about it if you if you Google Bay Area Filipino suicides. Then I'll do that, uh, and I appreciate the heads up, and sure. I'll look into that for a, a future topic here on Coast to Coast. What an interesting alchemy of things. Uh, I want to ask Ed. Um, I'm in the very same predicament as um, as Judas is, and. Um, only uh, I haven't been able to get away. These people are around me 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, and uh, here they operate, uh, and it says right on uh, their license plates that I get from uh, the DMV when I check their license plates. They operate as raison social, and uh, every... Um, Every license plate doesn't matter if they're. Hey, right. hey Marie. Hey, yeah, hey. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt, but we're we're sort of talking to Ed about the JFK assassination and Judy right. Barry Baker's story. Uh, I, I'm not sure that he can offer you advice about these people that are following you around. Are they well, somehow related to the assassination or something? Or no, I wanted to ask him where he would suggest that it would be safe. What continent, country, for me to go to? Uh, um, I don't know enough about your situation to offer a, um intelligent uh, advice on that. I, I, I wish you good luck in being safe, but I don't have any uh, advice for you. Sorry, Marie. We don't know who it is that uh, that's following you around, so I'm not sure we can help you, but appreciate the call. Yes, hi, uh, George. Yes. Um, uh, I just wanted to say that uh, sat- these satellite weapons that um, that we possess – um, they're really an enlarged version of the electron uh, microscope. Uh, they're able to, uh, you know, read information off of a dime. Um, these electromagnetic weapons that are embedded into these um, satellites that are able to torture an individual, um, uh, they are able to lock on, uh, they have uh, satellite tracking capabilities, and they're able to uh, you know, hear conversations and torture an individual from a distance. They basically oh, use... I know who you are. You, you've you been sending me emails about uh, satellite control of the mind and things of that sort, right? Exactly, exactly. Um, they use um, essentially Tesla technology where they uh, direct two uh, lasers of, of different polarities and where the lasers intercept, it essentially causes a spark. Uh, and what's the and- proof for this, Bert? What What proof do you have for this? Well, um, basically, this um, uh, they they've uh, been using these weapons to torture uh, women into performing sex acts and to uh, keep people from whistleblowing. They've um, they've used uh, these uh, weapons on legislative branch members, on uh, media folks. Uh, they've used these weapons for a number of years, um, and uh, basically, uh, my wife was raped by a federal agent, and um, I actually reported it to the local FBI office in San Francisco. Um, And after that happened, I was tortured, and there was an effort to obstruct justice to prevent me from coming forward. Whoa, 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 Um, slow down here. Who tortured you? um, Well, uh, the the, uh, individual that, um, that raped my wife. Same guy who raped your wife tortured you. Did you report it to the police? Well, I reported it uh, to the FBI. Um, I met with um, I met with I, I met with six different uh, duty agents, um, and then I, I visited the U.S. Attorney's Office in Oakland. I met with Kim Briggs three times, um, but there was a, a bit of a challenge because they have a conflict of interest. Apparently, there is this uh, this secret society where there are. 
Um, hey, Bert, I got to stop you for a second. Hold yeah. on. I mean, uh, I, I don't mean to be disrespectful. I, you know, you sound like you've had a rough time of it. But if you went to the FBI and the U.S. attorney and told them that a federal agent had raped your wife and tortured you and it has something to do with a Tesla technology from space, you can see why maybe they're not taking you seriously. It has nothing to do with a secret society. It might be that just it sounds crazy to them. You know, that's why I'm asking you, what proof do you have that these events happen? Well, they, they happen to my, my vice president, uh, companies where I've worked. Um, they happen to other people that I know. Hey, Bert, um, uh, that, yeah. uh, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Uh, it's a fascinating story. You can send more to me uh, online. You've obviously got my web address, and um, we're going to move on. Thank you for the call. Hope you're doing okay and your wife as well. on Coast to Coast AM. Open lines. Bert, where are you going to take us? Yes. Hi, Ian. I wanted to report that um, that uh, an incident that took place uh, some years ago uh, when my wife was raped by a federal agent, I reported it to the FBI and the legislative branch about two years ago. And I haven't, since then, I haven't seen a special prosecutor. Is this the story of the, of the Filipino woman in San Francisco? Yes. Yes. Yeah, we've talked about yes. this before, right? Yes, and right, right. And right, I you've called in a couple of times. Mm-hmm. I have. Is there something new on that? Uh, well, um, the, uh, only that uh, the Oakland U.S. Attorney's Office. Um, uh, uh, okay, and, I, you know, uh, we that gets into a whole thing where it just feels like you're, and I hope that they bleep that because I, I, that that you then you're just using us because if you do that, then you're just using. Us. I mean, I, I'm not saying you're not right, and I'm not saying that. A horrible thing didn't happen to your wife, and I'm so sorry that happened to you, but, man, you can't use us. Uh, You can't get our license in Jeopardy. You can't get our show in Jeopardy by naming names like that and calling people things like that they haven't even been accused of. And I I respectfully ask you, uh, I I know that you're a person in pain, and and it cannot be easy to think of something like that that's awful that's happened, but I've also read a lot of the stories about her online, and... We can talk about it, but you just can't use the show to do that uh, because that's just a whole other legal area. Well, I I did a little uh, sussing around here after that last caller, Bert, was telling us about the Bay Area Filipina suicides, said that his wife had been manipulated by some sort of um, ray from uh, an orbiting satellite of some sort and had been mind-controlled into committing sex acts with people who were connected to the government and that this goes all the way up to uh, the highest levels of government. Uh, I, he said that all I do is Google those words, Bay Area Filipina suicides, and I'd see more. I have, but everything I see has Bert's name on it. Um, at least so far, this is the only entries I find are his testimony similar to what he just gave us uh, on Craigslist, a website which he appears to run, a video which is entered by him on YouTube, and um, I'm just going to a third site here, which he links up to his own video on YouTube, so I'm going to guess and say Bert was behind that one too. I'd love to see more information on that, not because I hope that it's true, I hope that it's not, I hope that's a hoax, I hope he's in a band called Bay Area Filipina Suicides, or he's got a some sort of Blair Witch Project movie he's putting together and he's trying to create some, you know, sort of brush fire on the Internet on. I hope none of this is true, but we'll continue to look into it and we'll see whether or not that's worthy of a show in the future. It doesn't matter. It was worthy of an open lines call. And so are you coming up next on Coast to Coast AM. This is Ian Potter. <laughs> is in New York, east of the Rockies, on Coast to Coast AM. Anne? Hi, this is Anne Collins in New York. Uh, Anne, I have something very serious to tell you. I remember your guest, wonderful Catherine Austin Fitz, talking about the, uh, quote, non-lethal weapons that she was attacked with. Well, I've been attacked with these for a couple of years now, and they're not non-lethal because at this point they have... It just shake my whole body, 
It's electromagnetic fields, definitely. It's thrown my neck completely out of whack, according to X-ray, and, my, and compressed me. It's like a huge gravitational field, which, of course, is a part of the electromagnetic spectrum. And I've done my homework. Uh, your guest, Roger Tulsis, BugSweeps.com, has literature on this, what electromagnetic fields can do. And what it's doing now is racing my heart up to 154 beats a minute sometimes, and my normal blood pressure is 70 over 80, which is very nice. I mean, I'm a health food nut. And uh, my blood pressure goes up as far as 185 over 110, and it just feels as if they're killing me. Well, tell me, tell, who's doing it? Who, who's doing well, it? Well, it can, it can only be CIA or national security agency because it's a black operation why and would there are they do a lot it of doctors you? involved in this i'm very psychic i've seen them uh dr Lori nadell said okay. on coast to coast get... that it caught co- that uh, that torture causes people to be psychic by making no- neural contacts and i've seen a terrific number of doctors why uh, would they be doing it to you well because they use me as a mind control slave but why? I have memories of this, and because I was a political activist. And since that time, I've been attacked by helicopters. Uh, German chemical warfare almost died. I've traveled all over the world to try to find a safe place to live that I could afford out of money completely and out of luck. And I'm being tortured, literally. Oh, I'm sorry tortured. to hear that. Now, they have this in mind for everyone because I've been implanted. Uh, my doctor felt this thing in my neck. He said, oh, that's like a little BB. And I said, yes. And I felt it go in with a sting. Why don't you take it out? I asked him to take it out. He said, I don't do invasive things. I can hardly walk, hardly move. I could hardly get to the x-rays. I'm being pulsed forward and back and side to side. Been to a neurologist. He says it's not neurological. And, uh, and described it, that I'm being pushed to and fro and sideways in, in a very strange way. How are you making ends meet? Social Security. Okay. You see, um, when they get older, you know Stephen Quayle, he's been on your program. He's got a book called uh, Weather Wars and Unnatural Disasters. Mm-hmm. And in his book on, uh, well, page 237, Low power electromagnetic magnetic wave can cause normal people to go into seizures. That's one section, and then this, sure. and then it yeah. goes on to death right. ray and the whole thing. Then there's right. I might, I just and I'm still kind of curious about uh, why you I'm, as I'm opposed. I'm going to read that to you. One fifty seven. Here is one of O'Brien's quotes. This is Kathy O'Brien. Slaves of advancing age or with failed programming were sacrificially murdered at random in the wooded grounds of Bohemian Grove. And she's saying, and I felt it was only a matter of time until it would, it would be me. I have heard them say to me, they, they use psychotronic weapons as well. My partner is getting some of this as well. And uh, uh, they have shown me. Mentally, you've probably seen the Washington Post article on psychotronic weapons, haven't you? No, I missed that one, and I'm sorry. Okay, well, there is one. Okay. And, I mean, if I can give you my number, give it off air, and no, you can okay. call me. I've got a ton no, of I research can, here. I, I'll be happy to research it. Well, I'm, you sound tortured. You sound I'm like somebody tortured, going through. Believe and I And I don't know uh, where else you can turn. I mean, I wish I had somebody that could. I don't could... either. And the problem is, uh, to quote Einstein, uh, Condemnation without investigation is the height of ignorance, and people just want to toss it off because they don't want to believe it. But believe me, you read David Icke and the CIA people that told him that this is going to happen. They not only want to monitor and track us with implants, but to control us emotionally. And I was seeing things. I was right. I was even able to travel without my body. I've seen beautiful places and beautiful things without right. going through any, you know, gyrations to do it just naturally so they're holding me down they're trying you see david ike says that this is a vibrational prison as far as i'm concerned it's the gravity is the prison they have somehow look into the caves the crystal caves and things like that they're doing i don't believe we would have this kind of gravity at all well now the earth is losing its gravitational field and they're peppering it with electromagnetic spectrum, which is gravity is a part of, probably to keep us in this vibrational prison. Because well, I, we are multidimensional beings and can go anywhere. Well, I'm, mean, sorry, I'm sorry this is happening to you, and uh, I'm, I'm glad you let us know so that um, 
If it gets worse or that there's other things. Um... They may kill me. My name is Ann Collins. Okay. I live All right, in New well, York City. I I, let's like hope they give, don't. I would like to give a number in case George or you or someone can call. I've got a terrific amount of information. This started for my partner okay. and me in 1994 with screeching in our ears. We're both musicians. Okay. He's a musicologist. Okay, well, I would say... And the screeching with one predominant pitch at the same moment, mm-hmm. standing in the same room. Mm-hmm. My doctor saw something okay. in my ear, abnormal, yep. and uh, with the tympanic mm-hmm. nerve swollen, yep. and mm-hmm. I got uh, the name of the surgeon for him. Okay. The next day I went for x-rays. I came back to him. He looked in my ear again. Gone. And if you don't take a breath, I'm going to be standing here in the middle of the room, and I'm going to be screaming, okay? So let me just say... Let me jump in and say, this, this, you sound truly distressed, and what I would recommend you do is, um, I, I could give you a number, but I'm not exactly sure why. I think the more interesting thing to do would be make sure you keep a, an accurate account of this. Um, you sound like you have a lot of evidence, and if you can, if you want to, put it in, in an email to us here at Coast to Coast, and uh, maybe when we've got a, an author coming up or somebody else that would... Uh, that might pertain to this material, uh, we can run some of these details past them. So just keep listening. Annie in Huntsville, Alabama on Coast to Coast AM. Annie? Hello, Ian. Can you hear me? I can hear you perfectly, girlfriend. Go ahead. Thank you. This is about the doomsday chip. People should not buy anything except all analog devices because vehicles and electronics are programmed Nowadays, with doomsday chips or watchdog timers, which will stop the device from working when the warranty's out because they want you to have to pay them. They want to make you buy a new one. When I was growing up, things lasted 30 years or a lifetime, and I have a museum full of things that still work. Well, that's curious to me. I haven't heard about this. so. Where where has any has have you owned things where there was a chip that killed the product? Oh yeah, I've got a bench full of them. Well, like what? I, I pulled it out of a '79 Chrysler Newport, and I kept it for evidence. It caused a complete chain reaction of all electronic components, and they went kept, kept going bad again and again. It didn't matter how many new wiring harnesses I bought. Because it was designed in there, it was an engineering design in every one of them. Hmm. And these chips have the watchdog timer that counts down to zero. It should reset a device. However, it can turn off a device or start a domino effect like I was telling you about. It just keeps on forever. It doesn't matter how many times you fix it. They don't want it to run. Well, that's very interesting. Like never... me, should come out with a line. I need to come out with a line of analog cars and things and sell it and call it Annie Logs product. Uh, well, I, that sounds like a, that sounds like a great... 72 Dodge Dart. Now, we need to yeah. remake this 72 Dodge Dart and resell it and put it out there for sale right now. Well, that's an interesting idea, Annie, and I, I let me know if you ever get around to doing that. I think that'd be very cool. I'd like to buy a new 1972 Dodge Dart. conspiracy theory should be investigated, and if so, by whom, being that the deliberate importation of terrorists into the United States for the purpose of bringing down America by Barack Obama is being done by arranging these so-called trials, which is going to involve thousands of so-called witnesses getting a free ride over here, and they will actually be here for the purpose of bombing us and some federal judge is going to turn them loose just for the purpose of bombing us on a on a technicality and that the judges were put in by obama for this purpose and america's fixing to come down they're going to blow up all the gas stations which they already bought up annie your 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 uh, premise is that uh president obama wants to bring terrorists in the country to blow things up sure they already bought all the gas stations up. What for? All they need to do is light them all up at one time. Anybody can see that. It can't be uh, stupidity. It's got to be a conspiracy. Obama's not that stupid. What do you think? Should I, be investigated. I, I I don't think that's true. Uh, I, I mean, we'll see if all the gas stations blow up in the uh, the next. You know, how long you want to give it? A year, year and a half? 
But uh, that sounds like to me you're trying to make an, yeah, a that's, political that's, statement about yeah. Obama. I don't know if that really connects up with anything. Uh, or a statement about uh, the nationality of people who own gas stations. I, I, yeah. I don't know. I, yeah. I don't know. Fanny in Alabama on the wild card line. Uh, Fanny, how you doing? Hey. Well, I know the reason why Barack Obama's mother can't be located. I believe that she's running from the law and the press because she knows the truth about her son being a Muslim, and I have proof of that. And if he's a terrorist, he's going to hide it, and he wants to get in the White House and use that to blow the whole world up. I believe in that theory, and I have pictures of him that nobody wants to look at. I gave it to 10 television stations, and they made out like they didn't see the pictures. Is that right? What's What do the pictures show? This is him with two other Muslim men <clears throat> wearing a purple bubo robe and a white kufi hat, which is given upon completion at the Hodge after completing several steps, just like in the Masons. When you're in the Shriner, you get a Shriner's hat. It's similar to that, only um, the Shriners are not the same. It's just a similar way of getting a hat. The so, Shriners, Fanny, where where'd you get these secret photos? Did they just uh, come in the mail? Where'd you get them? Or are these photos of an Obama trip to Africa? Yes, but this is a different trip and different photos. And if he is exposed, he can be impeached as a senator and then if he gets elected president, he can be impeached for lying under oath and saying that he was born in the United States when he's not. Well, hold on a second now. We're talking about a couple of different things here. You had photos that you think purport to show that he is a Muslim, which I'm not quite sure why that's a bad thing. Um, but well, he's and, and now you about say, it. If he's, he's lied about lied it. lied about that, he's probably lied about his intention to blow us up if he told the truth about it. It wouldn't bother me nearly as much. I've dated a Muslim man before, but if I could go back again, I would not have, knowing that they're terrorists this way. Well, to tell you the truth, Fanny, I think you need a little bit more information than you've got a photo of him wearing a funny hat that, as proof that uh, that he's a Muslim or, or that he's lying about his citizenship. Don't you think you need a little Why bit more? Why doesn't somebody confront him with that photo? He needs to be confronted with that photograph and see if he wants to explain and get what his version is. I'd like for him to take a polygraph and explain well, what his okay. version is of that photo and why is everybody trying to hide it and why is his mother a fugitive? Well, that's uh, that's quite a that's quite a mouthful there, Fanny. Uh, thank you for the call. Um, I'm not even quite sure what to say about that. Um, I just know that we, you know, you see those Internet reports come up. He's a Muslim. He's not a Muslim. He's not a citizen. Um, day after day doesn't mean you have to be an Obama fan uh, to recognize um, smear tactics and, and uh, rumor and innuendo. Uh, if somebody's got some information on that, they're welcome to call in. But they better be uh, have a little more uh, under control than Fannie in Alabama there. We'll be right back with more Coast to Coast AM. Wildcard line on Coast to Coast. Joel? Uh, yeah, so uh, I had a couple questions. Uh, I'm sure you know Alex Jones. You know, I listen sure. to him uh, right. pretty much daily. Yep. Uh, I've been paying attention to the big con- controversy that's going on over in France right now, you know, with the... Uh, the right, retirement uh, age. Stuff. Yep. Yeah, and uh, I've been paying attention to what's going on over here. And the uh, extreme inflation we're having, and whatnot. You know, I kind of want to break away from the UFO and go to net, you know, normal events. Uh, where's your ties on? What do you think that the uh, possibility of us having a revolution or possibly a civil war within uh, a year, maybe two, here in the states is? Don't. None. Zero. You really think so? Zero. We zero percent of zero percent chance of civil war in the United States in the next two years. Why do you believe that? <laughs> well, why do you believe that there will be? Uh, because I mean, as far as I, I mean, as far as I'm seeing, one one I'm starting to see uh, there's about to be a civil war in France. Is, is, any way we look at it, there's going to be a civil war over there. And no, uh, no, no. I, I don't think there will. I, I don't think there'll be civil war. 
I don't think civil to something to rise to the level of civil war is like saying to me. I mean, this is how I think of it. I, I realize Alex Jones thinks a little more sensationally on that, but uh, I think for some, you look at the comparison of of a of a law that needs to be passed and amending the Constitution. Just because a law needs to get passed, we don't have to amend the Constitution. Civil wars are the equivalent of amending the Constitution. It is, a, it is a, an enormous undertaking to try to get that many people that motivated um, that they'd be willing to die and 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 or to kill their neighbor, to shoot their brother over it. So I can't okay. I can't think of the issue right now that would cause that. Do you? Well, yeah, see, the, the issue that I'm looking at is the fact that, I mean, it, we're completely watching our president of the United States just annihilate the Constitution. You know, they, I, it's, it's I like disagree. it's not even there. I disagree. I, there's, I, I don't know what country you're living in, but I, my, my constitutional rights are fine. I realize you may think differently about President Obama. I'm not a big fan. I'm not somebody sitting around, you know, lauding him. But I also I, I say the same thing to you about Obama that I said to this caller two years ago about President Bush, who sat here on the same open lines call, Joel, saying there will be um, a, a false flag operation. President Bush will never leave office. It's coming in a matter of days. There will be it, they'll create, you know, a, some sort of terrorist scenario. And then he will stay in office and we will have we will not have elections. And well, now- I, I just. I just don't think that's going to happen. You know, it's funny you should mention. I'll, let me throw in something else, and then by all means respond. Just by coincidence, again, I'm I'm reading the book, The Deeds of My Fathers, by Paul David Pope. He's going to be our guest coming up, and he's talking about the birth of the National Enquirer, and he's talking about a story back in 1950, where there was a, a rumble of belief that Truman was going to start a coup and stay in power as president of the United States. And there were people that were convinced that President Truman was going to have an armed coup. Now, it just we look back on in history, we go, what? Well, well see, my, my thing is, is that I, I look beyond the president. I don't, I don't see a okay. president staying in office and becoming a dictator and blah, blah, blah. blah. I mean, I, I'm looking at the, the banker elite behind him. You know, I'm seeing the okay. international banking system, every single civilized country, uh, anywhere from France to Italy to the United States, you know, and so on and so forth, has a centralized banking system. A right. centralized banking system allows that bank to print money out of thin air, which allows inf- right. inflation, complete ability to cripple an economy with, with no means. That exists. Yes. That power exists. Yes. So why would it ever be in the best interest of the parasite to kill the host? Well, the reason why I see it to be the best interest at this moment in time is because if they kill the host, in this, in this instance, if they destroy our economy, they can inflict the, the, uh, the North American Union, okay, by equalizing all three economies. But wait, wait. If they're drawing the money out now, why, why upset the apple cart? I mean, let's go with your model. I'll go with your model. Why is buying money out and they are parasitically sucking us dry? Right. Why not? Why not keep the host alive? Keep pumping the blood so that the tick can sit there and live happily ever after. So they I mean, can what, inflict. So they can inflict. It's all power game. It's, it's no longer. We're not looking at money. The power all. comes in keeping the host alive. Right. Not and not so, in killing the host. So if the if the parasite is really, I mean. It, the the parasite loses its power if the host dies. Mm-hmm. Now, the thing that I'm looking at, though, is if they cripple okay. every world economy, if they cripple every economy around the planet, they can inflict a one-world currency, right, which they can control and manipulate in any way they wish. All right. How, lo- how long before you think there will be a one-world economy? Uh, I'm thinking within the next 10 years. Wrong. We already have one. Well, I know we have a one world economy, but it's we not do. based off of one currency. It, we do. It's it's right now it's based on the dollar. And and the the big threat to our future is actually that uh, the dollar becomes not the basis of international trade. Well, that's cuz everybody's cashing out of the buck. Okay. Well, you got to make up your mind on this storyline here, Joel. You can't keep switching around when it gets in trouble. I mean, that's what I'm saying. We already have it. It's already based on the dollar. Um and it's to our benefit. Our great fear would be, to me, is if uh, the Chinese or others get their wishes 
and they decentralized the dollar as the the currency you know of trade. Uh, that's what I'm worried about more than anything else. 